Let's talk briefly what actually records remote sensing sensor. That is important for understanding of remote sensing images that are used and the, as a main input of following induced land cover mapping. Remote sensing sensor record electromagnetic radiation and electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves in turn are characterized by wavelengths and intensity. Electromagnetic wavelength is usually measured in nanometers and intensity in radiances. With this information in the background, let's now move to the next slide. When electromagnetic radiation hit a specific object or land cover on the Earth's surface, it can either reflect back, which is basically then measured by remote sensing sensor, absorbed or transmitted. Each land cover has its unique spectral property, reflection, absorption and transmission in different parts of electromagnetic spectrum. These unique spectral properties are called spectral signatures. Spectral signatures are the basic for any land use and land cover classification, so it is important that you will understand this concept. Let's have a look on this example. Here we can see the graph where on X axis we have a wavelength and on the Y axis we have reflectance in the percentage. Location of Landsat bands are shaded in gray. Spectral signatures of water is shown in blue color, spectral signature of vegetation is in green and the spectral signature of soil is in brown. We can see that water has a strong reflectance in a blue part of electromagnetic spectrum, following by green and red, while in the infrared part of electromagnetic spectrum it is totally absorbed. From this, it becomes clear which bands or channels of the sensor or satellite image we should use for classification. Now let's have a look at vegetation. Here we can see the different pattern. We can see that vegetation has a high uh, reflectance in green part of electromagnetic spectrum, but then there is a, a slight decline in the red and blue with the highest uh, peak in near infrared. Yeah? So the vegetation reflected the most in near infrared part of electromagnetic spectrum, and this also is very often used for both land use land cover classification as well as for monitoring of vegetation um, by vegetation, so-called vegetation spectral indices. And probably you have heard the most common vegetation index is normalized difference vegetation index or NDVI. Well, here we have the last spectral signature I would like to explain you is the spectral signature of the soil. The behavior of spectral signature of the soil is different from water and vegetation. We have a gradual decrease, increase in spectral refractances starting from the visible part of electromagnetic spectrum proceeding to near infrared, mid infrared and fine infrared. So it has a gradual uh, increase and this is also a unique property. So what you can see from these three spectral signatures, well, that they are different. They have different reflectance values in different parts of, the, of electromagnetic uh, spectrum. And this is one of the spectral signatures properties, spectral signature pattern recognition, which is used again in land use and land cover. In the next video, we are going to talk about sensors and platforms. See you there.